What's up guys, this is Yorin7 and welcome to another Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle video on JP. And I just thought I would uh, share some really important information with you guys. Uh, I know this is a little late, but uh, you know, since I pulled Omega Shenron, I didn't want anyone to know until I uploaded the video. So now I can actually show this video. Um, so I'm going to tell you why you should summon on the Aureli banner. So let's open up the Aureli banner really quickly. Uh, let's show you what it has to offer. Don't worry about this physical Aureli, she's crap, but it would be nice to have in your collection. I don't have her, unfortunately, but um, this Aureli here is one of the ones you really want. I'll explain more about her in a second. Now, this is the, quite possibly one of the best AJLs in the entire fucking game. Quite possibly. And she's actually a turret. This one's also a turret. So, I'll, I'll explain more in a second. Um, don't worry about this little fucker. Um, don't worry about the asshole face. Um... General Blue, I'm sorry I, I messed up in my summoning video for Rayleigh. Um, he has ultra high chance to stun. That's the same passive as uh, well, not the same exact passive, but I mean the, the, the super attack or whatever. The like his super attack has an ultra rare, ultra high chance to stun, same as the World Tournament one. So, but he's an SSR and he looks cool. So, um, and if Tao is okay, um, now. Now I'm going to show you the actual cards. I, I've already farmed their super attacks and Doken Awaken them. You can get them really easily from the, the little events that's going on. Um, so this is AGL Aureli. Just look at that card art, guys. This is actually, as of right now, my favorite card in the entire goddamn game. Not only because of the card art, but goddammit. This thing, she is fucking powerful, guys. She's powerful as fuck. First off, she's got supreme damage. Not bad. Her super attack has a rare chance to stun, I believe. Um, now this is where it gets really good. Um, her passive. So, this passive here says, when her key meter is 7 or more, she gets an attack boost of 90%. That is debatably better than AGL Super Saiyan. She's debatably better than him completely. Um, now granted, he has a 100% attack boost, for seven turns, that's fine. I mean, that's easy. You know, you don't have to do anything. It's seven turns, but in a long, you know, you know, token boss or whatever, like Super Vegito, and something that has multiple fights, you're gonna lose that passive very quickly. Um, now with the Rayleigh, put her on a Super Vegito team or any team that has like a you know, anything with double plus three key lead. It's not hard to get seven key meter. You know, not hard at all. So. With her, you can easily, if you have a good enough team, you can always have that passive done. So, um, not just that, but she has um, wait, um, shocking speed, guys. She has fucking shocking speed. I don't get how she has shocking speed, but I, I don't believe Hit has shocking speed. So, that's kind of crazy, but she is an android. Speaking of being an android, she links with the androids. So if, you, if you have the LR android, sorry. LR Androids, put her on the same team. Put her, put her and the Androids on a Super Vegeta team and you're set for life. Um, she also has like this uh, link with like Cell and Boo and Frieza and all that, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, don't worry about her leader ability. Put her on a team with Super Vegeta and, and it's fucking lit. So, <laughs> she's a fucking powerhouse. I love her. Sorry, sorry about my language. I'm just, I'm still excited about this card. It's been like three weeks. Um, now let's talk about the the uh, strength type Aureli. Okay, strength type Aureli. The, not so crazy about the card art. She's all right. Um, don't worry about the leader ability. Now her super attack. Uh, she's an AOE. Uh, not that being an AOE really matters anymore these days, because you know World Tournament is nuked with Majin Vegeta. Um, but that's still good for, you know, farming like 18-3, you know, Team Bardock and third form Frieza, get those Baba Gems and, you know, stuff like that. She's still good for you in story mode. You know, you always fight a group of enemies in there. Um, yeah, she's fucking strong. Her, her passive is also pretty easy to, to get. When HP is 30% or more, attack and defense goes up by 70%. That's fucking amazing. Um, she also has shocking speed. Got the same links as the other one. Now, what really makes these Aureli cards amazing? Uh, two things, besides what I just mentioned. Uh, you could farm the super attacks quite easily. 
Um, that event that's going on, you could you could drop you know the tech Aurelis and the Goku Gi. They uh, have a 50% chance to 50% um, chance to raise their super attack level, and they're similar to Goku Black tech and you know Buhan, where they they drop as SSRs. Um, also the Twitter, the, the Twitter um, Aurelis they, they count as well. Um, so yeah, um, very easy to get their super attack level up, and it's also easy to farm their medals um, in the little events. Um, now the other amazing thing about them is their super attack animations. They're freaking awesome, and I'm going to show you them in a second. Um, now, before I show you that, let me just tell you, um, I know you're going to be like, you're on 7, why Why would I summon on that stupid Aureli banner when I could summon on this banner and get like every Doken exclusive um, SSR in the game, Doken Festival exclusive. Super Vegito, Omega Shenron, Super Saiyan 3 God Tanks, Physical Broly, and Buhan. Why would I summon on that Aureli banner where I can get all this crap? Well, honestly, my best advice is get at least two or three of the God Leads, specifically Super Vegito. If you have Super Vegito and like, you know, Buhan, definitely summon on the Aureli banner over this God banner. I'm sorry, Aureli is that good. If you have Super Vegito or Buhan or you know, whatever, Omega Shenron. Omega Shenron's pushing it, but, um, I mean, at least you have Super Vegeta. At least, you know, do maybe, like, one of the guaranteed stars on the, uh, Aureli banner, okay? That's all I could say. But, uh, for, for someone like me that has every single fucking card that's on the screen right now, I have all of them now, by the way. Um, yeah, definitely someone on the Aureli banner. I'm sorry about goofing up with the guaranteed SSR. I originally thought this was, like, a, you know, the Super Vegeta banner. Where you know global, where you do three multis, get it one free. I mean, they came out on the almost the same day. You know, they're both, you know, 100 million downloads banners, and you know it, the thing. This little, no, oh, no, no, this little uh, the, two or the three, it it confuses me sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm just not used to doing guaranteed stars every fucking banner. Okay, like like this thing. Where is it? The new one that's came out. By the way, this banner shit. Um, only summon on this if you don't have. One of these three. You could farm all of them, by the way. Um, Traxi, Gohan, both strength and physicals. SRs, they farm a super. White Eye Face Goku farms his super, and any Super Saiyan SR Goten farms that super. So, yeah. Go for that. Anyway, um, but don't summon on that banner. Um, now, uh, the good news about, you know, the debacle of which banner you should summon on, God Banner or Vegito, or sorry, God Banner or Bareilly. I mean, they're both going to be out till the 13th of December, so you have a lot, a lot of time to, uh, you know, do a summon on either. So, you know, it's up to you. But if you're, if you got a lot of cards like me, then do the Aureli Banner. Now, I'm going to show you um, the Strength Aureli and AGL Aureli in action really quick. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. First, I'm going to show you. Um, strength of Rayleigh's super attack. Now, I'm not going to use a full. I don't want to kill Fasha here. I'm not going to get Gojita's super on purpose, but I just want to, you know, damage her a bit so I can one shot everybody with a Rayleigh. So, watch this. This is going to be sick. Here we go. That should be enough to kill them all. Here we go. Oh, yeah, let me make sure it's on times one. Because I want to see the full super attack animation and it's all this glory. And hopefully that's enough to have Fasha get finished off by Rayleigh. That should be good. Okay, watch this, guys. <laughs> this is the best super attack in the game. God damn. Look at that damage. <laughs> Look at that damage! Oh my god. Get wrecked. That's, I'm not even nuking. Not even nuking. Like, that's raw damage, guys. No, no links. There, there was no links right there. Nothing. And 12 Baba Gems. GG. Alright, now I'm going to show you the AGL Aureli. Be right back. Alright, guys. This is going to be the demonstration of AGL Aureli. Now, unfortunately, like, I'm showing my team here, I don't have a lot of cards that link with her, but she does link with Super Vegito. But, here we go. 
Um, now I brought nuking items just so I can get all the key on the map AGL. And this should finish up Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta right here. Let's go. Alright. Let's do it. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Kicked him right in the balls. 263k. Not bad. Okay, not bad. I mean, it's not like 300k. It ain't no Super Saiyan Blue Cow can Goku. But, um... I mean, for a freaking little android girl from Dr. Slump... Something that, you know, like a side manga, you know, not really related to Dragon Ball, but kind of is. I mean, that's that's a pretty freaking awesome character. I love her really now, guys. Yeah, she just fucking humiliated Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. So yeah, that is a Rayleigh, guys. That is why you want a Rayleigh. She's a fucking powerhouse. Imagine linking her with the LR androids. I wish I could. I mean, I don't have my androids yet. I'm too lazy to find the Buhan medals, but I will make sure to do that before uh, this event's over. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of uh, these awesome characters here. Agel Rayleigh and the Strength Rayleigh. They're awesome. Definitely get them, guys, if you don't have them. But yeah, I'll be back with another video tomorrow, but until then... Please, you know, consider summoning on the Rayleigh banner, and I'll see you next time.